coming to AGU as the executive director, and I think the greatest opportunity is for AGU to connect its scientific excellence to the policymakers and the media and other key stakeholders so that more individuals understand the important role science can play in the issues of today. I started my association career a long time ago in the 1980s and have always been successful in having an opportunity to work in all facets of professional societies, whether it's finance or membership or fundraising or public relations. Um, most recently, uh, for the past 11 years or so, I've been a CEO of two different um, professional societies, one the American College of Cardiology and one um, my most recent job is the American Institute of Architects. Um, and so I think particularly being at the American College of Cardiology where they did a very large international scientific meeting and we published a very prestigious scientific journal that that expertise will be particularly relevant um, here at AGU and I think what will be relevant from my AIA experience is taking the profession to become really relevant and an authoritative voice for policymaker, the medias and other key stakeholders. Well, I actually think it's advantage that I'm not a scientist and coming to AGU. I think the first thing you should know is that I have been a leader of a scientific organization, which is the American College of Cardiology, which was a scientific society in the life sciences and cardiology, so I'll bring that expertise. But AGU has 55,000 scientists, and hopefully that's going to grow, and the job of the leader of the professional society is to help enable them to be able to do their science most effectively and communicate it. And I also won't bring any bias about what those answers should be in science. So I think it's an advantage. Uh, I think some of the challenges are going to be, there seems to be right now a little bit of question about how valid science is in some of the areas that, some controversy, some of the areas that AGU cares about, particularly in climate change. So I think the challenge is going to be to make sure people understand that the science is sound and valid, but that sometimes science is a little messy. Uh, it takes a little bit of discovery to get to all the insights that we would like to have.